know, um, congratulate Maryland. I mean, I knew it was going to be a tough game. I'm thankful for our fans that came out. Uh, you know, we didn't play the way we wanted to. These two guys have been awesome for us. Uh, I'm proud of them, our seniors. Um, it's been kind of a choppy year. Fought through a lot of different things, injuries, lineup changes, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, um, I knew the backboards were the key, and they got us on the backboards tonight. And, uh, yeah, um, tough game, really tough game. Didn't play the way we needed to play, for sure. Start with questions for student-athletes. We'll go to Ellis first in the front row. Uh, obviously, Coach said this is either for Cliff or Andre. Obviously, Coach had a bit of a choppy year. But you guys have both been veterans now of Rutgers for three years and four years for you, Cliff. What has been the experience, obviously ending a season, what has been the experience like overall this year, last year, and just reflecting on your Rutgers career? Cliff. Uh, yeah, it's been a great experience just playing with you guys. They've been uh, like great people, like off and on the court, like just having great coaching staff around us. Like it's a great experience just having people who support us and also our fans, they always show up no matter what. So I just want to say thank you for everything. Josh. Cliff, only two points for you today. Um, what about Maryland's defense really uh, stopped you on offense? Hmm? Maryland's defense stopped you on offense. Uh, they played great defense, but my shot wasn't falling. But my teammates, was, we just keep attacking. Even though my shot wasn't falling, we was trying to play great defense. So we both played great defense. Uh, kudos to them. They played better defense. I guess for Andre, um, Maryland came out strong both in the beginning of the first half and second half. What do you guys see from them or from you guys that led Maryland to get out to big runs both at the beginning of the halves? Uh, they were more aggressive on the defensive end and their shots were falling. For us, um, it was hard for us to get second chance points and they were just more aggressive tonight. Anything else for student athletes? All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with questions for Coach Peichel. Go ahead, Ellis. Coach, Coach. obviously you said it was a choppy season. You had, you had that four-game win streak in February, but down the stretch, things kind of seemed to fade away. Well, what happened these last six, seven games that happened that caused? I like, mean, just you know, it's just been, you know, first of all, a ton of injuries all over the place. Even Noah today couldn't play. Moat practiced yesterday and couldn't play today. Um, you know, we just never had a great rhythm, and halfway through the year, we get Jeremiah and E back. You kind of see where E's going with this thing. Jeremiah, obviously, a big help, but um, then we lose Mawat at that point in time of the year. So, just had a lot of, you know, um, never really got into a rhythm. But you know, I'm proud of these guys. You know, it wasn't the year that I wanted. It wasn't the year that any of us wanted. But we, we <coughs> excuse me, we started this journey in in June and. Fought through a lot. It had a lot of new faces, too, in the lineup. And, you know, I, I, as I always am, I'm proud of Rutgers Nation. I'm proud of the support that we get. Um, it's my job now to make sure that we're a lot better next year. And, and I'm on a mission to do that. And, um, and you know, hopefully we stay healthy, too, because that was a big part of it this year, never getting into a rhythm. Josh. Uh, Coach, obviously, you, you went big to start the game with Cliff, Gavin, Oscar, and Jeremiah. Um, and then Maryland went on 11-0 run. What do you think allowed that for that to happen? Yeah, I mean, we, we were, were very concerned about the backboards. We knew that would be the end result if, if they got us on the backboards. They're a really good rebounding team. Um, so we went a little bit bigger, tried to you know, spark that lineup, obviously. I thought we got some decent looks. Couldn't really hang around because we didn't make the shots that were open and available to us. And then, I think in the first half we had eight layups, eight missed layups, obviously 0 for 3 from the foul line. So, you know, not able to get off to a good start when you're not capitalizing on those opportunities. That was. And layups and missed free throws have kind of been a theme of the season. Um, what do you think in terms of layups or through free throws? Is it a practice thing? Is it just a mental thing? What do you think went wrong when missing I mean, layups in the free I think throws? it's a little bit of everything, but, you know, um, we, we, had, we had shot the ball really well on the road. So our neutral sites and uh, away. So t tonight was a little unusual. We haven't shot well from the free throw line at home. You know, um, I think each guy, you know, it's different for. You know, some guys it's mental. Other guys it's, you know, other issues. But we certainly got to figure that out because that, that's been a problem. And we spend a lot of time on it, you know. But sometimes you, you make too much of an issue out of something. It becomes self-fulfilling, you know. So um, we'll figure it out and we'll get – some guys in here, hopefully, that, that, that are better foul shooters to begin with. But we really got to do a good job of solving that problem. Take two more. 
Uh, Coach, kind of a sour end to the season. What do you tell some of the guys like Cliff, the older guys who, you know, their future's up in the balance to, uh, you know, trailer spirits up? Yeah, I mean, you know, no season ever goes exactly the way you plan. So, you know, I was proud that our guys kept fighting to the end. I think tonight we had 11 stops out of our last 12 possessions, so they kept fighting to the final buzzer. Um, you know, these guys have a lot of choices now. So, you know, next year is not guaranteed to anybody, you know. And so it's a different kind of world that we're living in with college basketball now. So um, you thank them. Um, they've been great representatives of Rutgers. They've terrific academic. You know, they worked. There was no drama this year. They kind of came to practice and they fought. You know, it just didn't go our way. And we were a few games here, a few games here. And, you know, I'm not making excuses. I have to do a great job, and, and, and you know, with this group and, and get them into a rhythm. But we, you know, just never a consistency. You know, an injury bug hit us hard, and you know, some other things happened this year that you know we weren't kind of planning on. Last one, Ellis. Both Gavin and Jermichael got the start today. Both freshmen. What have you seen from their progression throughout the season? As you've always mentioned, that freshmen have a hard, a hard adjustment period. So what have you seen from them from the beginning? Yeah, of the season I mean, I think if you look throughout the league and throughout the country, like it's it's a tough time for freshmen um, because college basketball is so old now. You know, normally you'd have a four class, you know, rotation. With freshmen. Some of these freshmen are playing eighth year guys, seventh year guys, tons of six year guys. So. Uh, it was always a hard adjustment for freshmen. Now living in the COVID years and all this other stuff, it's, it's a real hard year. And they got better and better. Those guys came to work every day. Gavin kept improving and improving. You saw the end of the season, really, um, some of the things that he can do. And, you know, with some guys, too, around him, I think, he, you know, he'll, he has a chance to be really good. And Jay Mike is just a worker. You know, he came in, he, you know, he worked. And, um, you know, so I expect some great things moving forward. Those guys have bright futures. Uh, but all freshmen, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. All right. Thank okay, you, thank Coach. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for coming.